was called a dildo cactus. It's day three in the Galapagos, and we are witnessing another beautiful sunrise. Overnight, we navigated to Fernandina and woke up to the island shrouded in mist. The waters were still calm with the only disturbance being sea lions and turtles breaking the surface for a breath of air. It was enchanting to say the least. We had been transported to a place of mystery and myth, and we were about to go ashore. Good morning. Good morning! We just arrived here to Fernandina and we are going to go on a two hour hike and Lord knows what we're going to see because yesterday was epic and I'm so looking forward to today. Yeah guys, we woke up to an awesome sunrise. The water is like glass, the, the low lying clouds, a little foggy, but it makes it even that more beautiful. It is just gorgeous. It sure is. So we're going to grab a bite to eat, just a little snack, some toast and what else do you have here? Some fruit? Some fruit. It's going to be a dry landing, so no wet feet, but it's going to be a two hour hike like she said. It's going to be fun. So let's do this. God. So I saw a guide walk across um, what seems like a field of iguanas. So I was like, can you let's try it? And I was so scared. It was one of those yeah. Yeah. One started moving, they all started moving, and she freaks out. Oh my gosh. But this is so cool because to what get, a way to start the morning. <laughs> to get here, you have to walk through the iguanas. Crazy. But um, I love this. Alright, let's continue the hike. Yeah, so now we're gonna walk across some lava fields. As you can see, this this entire area is all lava, all mm -hmm. the way back to the water. So we had to we had to take our time and walk under these lava rocks because they get quite slippery. But man, very slippery. What what? So very oh, slippery. What an experience! It sure right. is. This We're is gonna awesome. continue on. We're in the back of the group. Uh, I've mentioned already humble current, mm -hmm. right? Humble yeah. current is coming from the south. It starts in July or so, it goes all the way to November. About yeah, November. But the uh, chromal current is present throughout the year and it's also a deep, cold, uh, water rich uh, in nutrients current, right? Now, chromal current, it will be very easy. So, along our hike, we have been coming across what's called a dildo cactus. 
That's right, I won't go into details, but take a look for yourself. The pioneer plants will be so, so very important because they will be able to settle in this, what we see, conditions, right? Mm. Now, if you were looking into these cracks and these gorges, you'll be able to see that there, there are some plants that are not in this. The world resume turning like everything's gonna change. And we can stop all the yearning and just exist in today. A rainbow! Have you seen a rainbow like this? So misty! It's a new beginning! This is just a start We won't forget this feeling But wait for the best part As you can see, snorkeling in the Galapagos is truly amazing. We were immediately greeted by sea lions who at first were just curious, but then quickly became playful. They would swim directly at us and suddenly dart away, twisting and turning leaving a trail of bubbles behind. They seemed to enjoy sneaking up on us. And while the sea lions were quite entertaining, the marine iguanas were too busy to be bothered. They were more focused on eating, using their sharp claws to cling to the rocks to feast on their favorite food. Let's not forget my favorites, the sea turtles. They too showed a hint of curiosity and would sometimes swim within feet of us. After checking us out, they would take a breath and go back to the serious task of grazing on the algae below. We were having so much fun. Our guide Eduardo had a hard time getting us out of the water. We would have stayed there all day. Once again, the Galapagos had far exceeded our expectations. There's a frigate bird sitting on the antenna of the boat and I swear to you he's meditating. So lunch was delicious and now it's time to go on a hike up onto a hill with an awesome view. 
Tagus Cove got its name after British boats, which visited the Galapagos in 1814. Back then, the Tagus came here seeking out the giant tortoises. The cove was also visited by pirates and whalers. These visitors left their marks by writing the name of their boats on the cliff sides and lower rocks. Some are dated as far back as the 1800s. This is one of the rare occasions you're going to see us actually leading the pack. Normally we're way in the back, <laughs> lagging behind. Yeah, but this is cool because you know what? There's some shade along the way, so... Yeah, it's not bad. No. It kind of reminds me of when we uh, hiked uh, uh, La Souffre in St. Vincent, <laughs> the volcano that's currently erupting. One of the coolest things about hiking this hill is just knowing the fact that Darwin also hiked up this hill sometime in the 1830s so awesome and it's still somewhat untouched for the most part these are the moments we live for with stars and planets align and it can last for forever but i think the future looks bright this is a new beginning, yeah This is just the start We won't forget this feeling we wait for the best Heading now The hike was definitely worth the view <laughs> Yeah, it was He's like, yeah, yeah, come a little go. There you go. These guys are like popping up. That would be epic. It's a calypso eclipse. <laughs> It was the end of another magical day in the Galapagos, and as we navigated to our next location, Abina Bay, we were gifted with one of the most beautiful sunsets we've ever seen. It was simply breathtaking. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and for more of the Galapagos or Ecuador, click on one of the above videos. Thanks again.